Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, if you get anything out of it, please share it, like it, comment, whatever. And uh, check me out on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Let's get into it. Hey, um, just before I get started, I want to say, you know, thanks to DSR Farms. What he's doing is really cool. Uh, he's like a pasture-raised product farmer. And uh, his goal is to get everything back to how it used to taste. And uh, I'm fixing to find out how well he did on that. But uh, I've got a pork belly here. This is like uncured bacon, just a big slab of meat. And you can see it looks like a slice of bacon there. And uh, I have got this dry, and I've let it set out for about an hour and a half or so, getting up to temp. And I've just got some salt, some cumin, some chili powder, and some garlic powder, uh, about twice as much salt as everything else. I'm just going to hit this fat with that. Maybe Mix that together a little bit. And just rub this in with that fat really well. And I'm going to let this sit on here for probably 10 minutes or so while my skillet gets hot. And I'm just going to sear this fat side. I've got my skillet hot and I've got just enough baking grease in there just so it's kind of wet. It's maybe a teaspoon or so. Um, and this I've been sitting here kind of soaking in all those salts and powders and stuff and I'm going to just sear it for maybe a minute or so. This is on a medium heat and what I'm doing is just trying to crisp up that bottom because I'm going to cook this in the crock pot and you can't get any crisp from a crock pot so I'm trying to make a crust on one side before I go, it goes in the pot. In the skillet, like I said, medium heat, uh, you know, just enough to kind of golden up some of that fat that's on top. If you'll look inside my crock pot here, I've just cut an onion up in like quarter inch slices and line the bottom of it, and I'm just going to lay this right on top of those. And I was going to do baked potatoes under this crock pot liner as this was cooking, but my wife baked potatoes last night, so I'm just going to use those. But that's another a great thing about these liners is you can cook baked potatoes under like a roast or a chicken or something. I wouldn't do it under soup because it's going to make like weird spots on the bottom. But we're going to put this on low for about two and a half or three hours. I'm going to check the internal temperature and uh, whenever it gets to about 145, I'll take it out. But I'm going to do up a little coleslaw. And I've got about a half a cabbage, half a head of cabbage chopped up and then uh, almost one large carrot. I just use a vegetable peeler and sliced it up. Um, I've got a little mayonnaise uh, right here, maybe a quarter cup or so. We normally use vinegar, but I'm going to kick it up a notch and use some jalapeno juice, which is just vinegar that's been sitting with jalapenos in it. I'm going to put about half as much vinegar as you have mayonnaise in there. And then for the seasoning that goes in there, about as much sugar as you put vinegar in there and then about half as much salt, black pepper, and then I've got some lemon pepper seasoning in there also. I'm just going to combine those and then mix them up and pour them over the cabbage and carrots and uh, then let that sit while it's cooking. The longer it sits, the better it gets. Mixed up, and uh, don't be afraid to taste it, you know, before you put it on there. If you don't like the way it tastes, if it's too sweet, add salt or whatever some more vinegar. If it's not sweet enough, add some more sugar. But we're just going to pour this on here and then mix it up and stick it in the fridge and let it sit in there. Came out of the crock pot about 10 minutes ago. I let it rest, maybe 15. Um, took about two, two and a half hours and it got up to about 155 degrees internal temperature according to my thermometer. Um, you could probably still throw this side down in the skillet if that wasn't crispy enough for you. But I think it's just fine. I'm going to cut right down the middle of this. I'm going to open this up here. Take a look there. What I'm going to do is uh, cube this up and make some barbecue stuffed potatoes. And then I'm going to do some tacos also. I actually fried those corn tortillas in what was left in the skillet from searing this. So that worked out pretty good. They're really good.
All right. Uh, yeah, just uh, split that potato open, put a little bit of the uh, pork belly in there, some cheese, salt and pepper, and uh, a little barbecue sauce. Sided with uh, some of that slaw that I made. And on these tacos, I had the onions left that were in the bottom, and they got translucent and soaked up all that pig flavor. Put those on the bottom, little meat, cheese, and uh, top that with some slaw too.